Hello guys, this is Amos Stone Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the Fat Rat song called Unity. All right, so I'll teach you the most catchiest part. It goes something like this. Okay, so you can't really see the right hand going up there because it basically is actually a repeat of itself anyway, but higher. Okay, but doesn't matter. I'll teach you the exact notes on a lower range where you can actually see it for the right hand so you can actually work it out yourself. All right, so what you can do for this lesson, the best thing is to do is to take down notes, the letter names, when I'm saying it out loud because you can remember how to do it. It's best to like take down notes anyway. All right, so also, you can also rewind the video just in case if you miss anything to get the most benefit out of it. All right, so right now, we'll focus on the right hand, the melody. Okay, I'll play it low so you can know what to play. Okay, so the first note is B, A, G, E, D, E. And then it goes again. B, A, G, E. B, A, G, E, D, B, G, A, B, A. And it goes again. B, A, G, E, D, E. And it goes again. B, A, G, E, D, E. And then it goes to something different. And then E, G, A, B, D, then higher, E, D, E, G, A. Okay, and then after that, it repeats itself, when I was saying this before, it repeats itself an octave higher. So when you finished off in the A, you start the B right there, instead of the B here. So again... you go up again where you can't really see it anymore yeah but that's basically it so the first part if you learn the first part you basically know how to play the whole of the most catchiest part in the song all right so we'll go through it once more time a tiny bit faster the notes b a g e d e and then repeat itself and then b a g e d e g a b a and then the first motive again, B, A, G, E, D, E, and then again, and then this changes a little bit, E, G, A, B, D, and then E, D, E, G, A. Okay, now that we've got the melody right, we're going to teach you the chords now for the left hand. So the chords is pretty simple, it's four chords repeated over and over again. First chord is E minor, which is E, G, and B. Next chord is C major, which is C, E, and G. Next chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And then the next chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And then it repeats itself, E minor, C major, D major, A major, and then repeats it two more times when the higher part is there. Okay, so right now, I'll tell you where you need to play the notes for the two hands. So I'll play two hands together and I'll tell you where the notes are lined up as. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I'll play it here so that you can see it. Okay. Yeah. 
here and then you repeat it again yep you can't see the right hand there but you get the point okay so now what I'm going to teach you is the rhythm of the right hand so the right hand is like the da 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 the da 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 so if you can see and then it repeats itself. So the pattern is pretty catchy. So just basically like do what I just did, make up like a kind of like a not beatbox. Well, you make up the rhythm like you voice out the rhythm so you can actually play it out because that's what most playing by ear like that's what I do for playing by ear most of the times as well okay anyway so that is the rhythm for the right hand and then right now a um, very important thing is I'll teach you the fingering for this because the fingering is important since this song is actually played at a pretty quick tempo and it, without proper fingering you won't be able to play it for example if I did it like man like it's so hard to do it right like with poor fingering you get all tangled up and you won't be able to play fast and smooth and that's what you aim to do for this okay I'll tell you the finger right now so for the melody for the right hand five four three two one two five four three two one two and then five four three two one two three four five four so basically you line up your First five fingers on your right hand. One, two, three, four, five. First finger on D, second finger on E, third finger on G, fourth on A, and fifth finger on B for the start. So you don't have to move. See, like with proper fingering, you can play fast like that. Without, if I do a random, like different for every, like, it doesn't work, right? You can't do it fast. Okay, anyway, getting back to it. Let's try once more again. So, um, five, four, three, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one, two. And then what you do here, you do something different. You move your first finger to the E, and then you line up one, two, three, four, five on E. G, A, B, and D, like this. And then after that, this is the hard part. You have to change your second finger and move to this E. So, two. Yep, two. And then what you need to do? Two, one, two, three, four. The reason for one, two, three, four, because the next part, you need your fifth finger to start this pattern again. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Etc. So without this fingering, you won't be able to play it fast. So later on, you can even make it fast if you want. Yeah, etc. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and get the most from it by playing this lesson over again and maybe you can even use the slowdown function if you want but as I said before taking down the notes as you go is a lot better because it's just very beneficial like that anyway so I hope you enjoyed this lesson with my sick voice my voice is <clears throat> I'm getting sick so I hope I get better but anyway I hope you enjoy this lesson and watch my other lessons of other songs if you like the other songs that I do and yeah See ya next time. Hey there, I'm glad that you finished this lesson. You must love music just like I do. So don't forget to subscribe for more of these lessons on many other new songs in the future. As a reward for finishing this lesson, I firstly want to give you a free trial on the piano method that I have created and used every day in my piano covers, spending around 10 to 20 minutes learning and recording a song almost instantly without the slow methods of sheet music or synthesia. 
Secondly, if you are a curious student who wants to learn more than what is in this lesson and download the full chords and melody of this and every other song in the future for you to play for yourself starting from this song onwards, then become my Patreon. And for your final gift, click the video on the right to view my full performance of this very song that you have just learnt.